Aeronautics VA1000 drone, quad, multi-rotor, whatever. These things are amazing. They cost about $44 USD from your local Wally World. And obviously they come ready to fly. Come with everything included. It's got radio setup. It's got this, uh, this phone little holder. phone holder clamp right here. You got a micro USB charger. And these suckers. They got proprietary they batteries. They got proprietary batteries. Look at this. They thought, you know what? This thing looks like a Mavic. It's got to have the Mavic battery. You can actually buy extra batteries. This battery is a 904 milliamp hour one cell lithium polymer battery. It's a, it's really fat. It's, it's pretty. Or it's 904 not fat. milliamp hour one cell. Biggest one cell I've ever that seen. That is huge. Come out of this Walmart drone. Giga it's got power, some dude. pretty cool little tabs here. And of course, it takes a micro USB charger, which is included in the in the box. But in case, you know, if you have another one, you can totally use it. Because the charging, like the smart stuff's in the battery, not in the charger. This is so just a regular old pretty charger. Pretty interesting. Anyways, let's break down the quad itself. So this quad is actually foldable. So you can fold in the front arms first, like so. And then the rear arms, and it becomes, you know, sort of a pocket. And on the sides here, you'll notice these little nubs. And along here, 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 and this... These are actually, um, they, they're, oh my God, obstacle avoidance sensors. You can put it on training mode by pressing and holding the speed button, which is located here. It's marked speed. And when you do that, uh, if it detects an obstacle, it'll fly away from it, just like a Mavic would. However, I have noticed that even if it's like a meter away from a wall or anything, it'll still bank hard left, which oftentimes leads to it smashing into another wall. Anyways, this thing has a camera. So this is, I don't know the exact resolution. 1240 by 720. So that's the resolution. Wide it, angle. It is a wide angle camera. The quality is a little bit crusty. We Sorry, will be putting crusty. it up on the screen and we're also going to cut after this to a flight footage. So these uh, drones actually have two methods of recording. You could either use the Wi-Fi method. As you can see, it's actually got a Wi-Fi antenna back here, and you can download an app on your phone. Um, and then just Wi-Fi feed, transmit it like it most is, drones do. It is the most easy to use, but I have found that sometimes it gets laggy and it cuts out. Especially so, when you're flying far away from you. When you're flying it inside, it's probably not a big the deal. The footage does get a bit choppy. Now, the second way you can do it with is you can actually insert a little micro USB. Yeah, I know my fingernails are dirty. Micro SD card. Micro SD. Not micro it's USB, down. my bad. And you can record directly from there. Now, when you're recording with the phone connected by Wi-Fi, you download the app and you actually have to press a button on the, on the phone to start recording. But if you have the micro SD, you press in right stick and you hold it and the lights will start flashing to indicate a recording. And that is a major problem. Because, because the lights on this thing are probably the biggest downside. You're recording and you're giving it throttle input. These things like literally strobe and it quite literally hurt my eyes. Like I had to look away from it because we were flying it. You guys will see on the flight footage, it's pretty dark outside. I got here pretty late, but there's still like street lights and you know, the camera still saw everything, but it was hard to see the drone. I was basically just looking at the lights because obviously yeah. the reds are in the back, the whites are in the front. I was just looking at that for orientation. And when these things are freaking strobing in my face 24 7 it gets it gets annoying it's pretty annoying one last complaint i have this is a little bit weird so it has three rates of speed well, technically four with the training mode so it's got rate one rate two and rate three and rate three unlocks crackhead mode it goes ridiculously fast now the camera on this thing can swivel you can swivel it all the way down or have it vertically level but when you're traveling so fast the drone is tilted down so you're basically recording nothing but the ground if there was a way to tilt it up a little bit so it would be a little bit more level when we're traveling at high speed, or high speed in heavy air quotes, I, that would be a little bit preferred. This thing is still really fast, though, for being a Walmart drone. I don't think I've seen a single Walmart drone that's faster. No, it is ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe the little one might be faster. But I like, think it might just be cruise ship effect. You know yeah. I mean? fat, big things look like they're going slower. Small things look this like thing they're going This thing definitely faster. carries. They, they all carry themselves really well. And, of course, I'm going to be trying to get my hands on every single one of these suckers. I want to get the... ASC 2450 or 2600 or whatever 2650 um I want to get the little ducted fan drone as well so we're going to pretty much try to review the whole the whole series here now, the radio is a little bit interesting it's very small and these sticks are dude what is this okay you know what at least it's not this all right yeah the little one they kind of sabotage us the way this works is this is an altitude hold drone because most modern day crappy drones are which sucks yeah you don't learn good throttle management from an altitude and also hold drone. when you're going this is another thing i realized another little glitch when you're going full throttle in rate three and you let go of the stick it levels out sometimes the motors are having a hard time leveling it so it just you gotta, gives you gotta it, put back stick on no it. you literally it literally just gives it full throttle and it keeps going up high as heck until it finally levels itself that's just a problem with the altitude yeah. hold. So the way this thing works, so obviously it works. Um, you, have to, you have to automatic takeoff and automatic landing. That's what this center button does. Rates, you're not doing rates, just rates. 
You also have the stunt button, so you press it and you make an input. Based on the input you make, it'll do a stunt. So if you go forward, it'll do a front flip. If you do aileron, it'll do a roll. If you go back, it'll do a back flip. Now, it will only do stunts in rate two and rate three, I think, right? Yeah, yeah in only, rate one, it won't do anything. Also, so, in rate one, it's like super slow. It's, it's dismally rate, slow. Yeah. You only use rate one for indoor flying and stuff. Uh, you have your trims, obviously, so if your quad is going somewhere you don't want it to go, you can make it so it adjusts the motor speed and stays still. And that's pretty much it. Again, you press this button in to do recording um, if you're using an SD card. The phone mount just kind of snaps in. There's a few little like mounting holes. Remote, yeah. So you just kind of careful not to press. There's a lot of stuff. But yeah, again, the phone mount just sort of snaps right in place. And then you're good to go. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, it does also come with prop guards that cover the motor. Yep. Um, and it also just... comes with four spare props. Yep. We just don't use the prop guards because we are too cool for prop guards. Also, they really uh, kind of no, suck quick, your battery life. Yeah. Quick also, test. these props, just one thing. Dude, they're, they're plastic, but yeah, they don't break anything. I haven't broken one yet, yeah. and they're pretty flexible. Pretty durable. Um, the body is all made out of plastic. So are the arms. Everything here is just molded plastic. I'm telling you guys to do is so easy. It's really that. It's probably one of the easiest things you guys can possibly do today, bro. It's probably the easiest task y'all have ever done. All you have to do is go down here, and you're going to see the subscribe button. And there's probably only going to be like one or two subscribers on this channel. Because it's brand spanking new. If you guys love watching drones like this, if you guys love pretty much what we talked about this whole video and just want to see more stuff like this guys literally just click that subscribe button and that is all y'all need to do because whenever we post new videos like this about you know drones nonsense. or nonsense It'll or anything be, even though it's a crappy walmart quad and it kind of stinks um it's just tons of fun to fly around it's really fun so his actually as i mentioned has the phone feature mine's doesn't mine's is going to be doing the sd card but his is going to be connected to his phone so, so this thing is pretty interesting uh, like most crappy camera drones, uh, you know, of this modern day age. God, my phone is like, all right, it looks like we're connected to Wi-Fi. So we just got to go to the freaking app here. Click on 1000 series, start. And yeah, it's called 1000 series. There's like a QR code to it in the, in the manual. Oh, I just kind of looked up Voyage VA 1000. Or you can just do that. Record photo and video. And now we got the crisp, cr crusty, <laughs> crusty quality. Record, photo, and then you got, that's where you access the files. Yep. That's so pretty much the app. app. All right. So we'll just do a quick run. Quick little flight, and then I'm going to get lines in the air and record from the SD. There is his VA. Oh, my God. Yo, this guy just absolutely took off. Holy sweet Jesus. This thing is insane. Now, what's really annoying about this quad is... I lost it. Okay, I got it again. I lost it too for a second. <laughs> <laughs> he lost it too. He, he said, I lost it too for a second. Are you recording that? Yep. So the thing that I don't like about it is when you give it throttle up, the lights start to blink. Yeah, that's kind of annoying because now you don't know when they're dead. Yeah. Usually with these quads, when the lights are flashing, that means something's dead. Um, another thing, when you're not using the phone to record, when it's recording, the lights are blinking constantly. Hit me with uh, hit me with some aerial acrobatics. I'm working on it. I pressed the stunt button, but it ain't doing nothing. Oh, that's interesting. That's something new. Okay. Yep. Well. There we go. Yo. Got it. He got me with a fronty. I think that was a fronty. I don't really know what else it was. So this man is oh, side swiper. That was a backflip. That was a big jabroni. Big speed run. So another thing that I don't, you know, this drone's freaking. Fa is that rate two or three? Three. Three. That thing's quick. That thing is a cooker. My personal one actually got so freaking hot that it didn't catch itself. Like sometimes the altitude hold gets crazy. So anyway, guys. Um. Yeah, we're gonna take it in and land it because I'm gonna get mines fired up and then we're gonna go an FPV dual flight. You feel me? Let's go ahead and hit me with that landing. bit bitchy on the uh landing here oh yeah that's another thing i noticed so okay you didn't do the automatic landing no. he just landed it by himself you have to kind of do that i do the auto land now i know it yeah perfect. so the auto land is the only way if unless you're on like a perfectly level surface the gyro will still detect that it's like all right doing all that. you ready to get her going yeah i'm gonna get mine's up in the air i'm gonna get mine's recording um i'm probably gonna like figure out how to voice over Okay, so here is the SD card footage. So this is actually different footage from a different night. I will show you the footage that we got from that night. It's just that it was dark outside and it's not really the best footage in the world. This is pretty much the ideal 
type of footage for this drone. So not here. We are on my high school football field. <laughs> we were able to sneak on and fly this drone around. Um, it's really bright outside. It's a super sunny day. And we were flying this thing pretty high. On the box, it said it had like a 200-foot range. So we were pretty much, you know, at that limit most of the time. I didn't really fly it anywhere higher than that because – I have heard stories of these things losing control and flying away. Um, so trying to keep it close while also, you know, testing out the limit. And I feel like it's good. At this range, it was starting to run out of, like, visual eyesight range. So we wouldn't really see what direction it was in or anything. Um, so it's not really, like, you're able to fly it any further than what we did. But as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. And the camera is wide angle. And that is its permanent angle there. And it's not bad. You can see quite a lot of, of details. I had the camera angled uh, sort of like 45 degrees down here. And you can see we're just ripping around, flying through the goalposts, you know, having a good old time. And you can see everything. You can see the letters on the field. You can see, you know, the, the yard markers. You can see everything. The camera is actually really good, a lot better than a lot of the other drones. I mean, this is probably about as good as like a cheap $100 cell phone, I, I would say. It's not even that bad. Um, the sunlight glare kind of bothers it a little bit, but... As long as you know what you're doing, as long as you're not pointing it in the sun. There, you can see it did a flip. Probably going to do another one in the goal. Yeah, another one in the goal post. Not too bad. Um, this is, again, pretty pretty solid for a for a mid-range camera setup, especially considering the fact that this drone was from Walmart. And it's 40 bucks. And in my personal opinion, I don't really think the camera is the main selling point of this drone. I think the main selling point is just the fact that it's a fast, durable drone, and it's got an external... Uh, replaceable battery the camera i mean it's just a gimmick um but even if, if you use the camera with the sd card you can actually obtain some very usable footage like i'm sure a lot of people wouldn't mind posting this on youtube or on like instagram or something and it's not bad because you can see everything that's going on my old sema drone that i had when i was a kid i mean some of that footage <laughs> you can't really see much i mean it was really grainy it was terrible and it was super like laggy and sloppy as you can see now I'll show you the Wi-Fi footage later. The Wi-Fi footage isn't as good because it's super laggy and it jitters around. But if you put an SD card in, which, I mean, come on, it's like 15 bucks for one. Put an SD card in this thing and just mess around with it. I swear, you'll actually get some pretty good footage. All right, let's go ahead and move on to uh, a, different, a, different, uh, a different day. And here you can see this is the SD card footage from that night, from the night of... Um, the first ever flight video. There's mine in the air right now, and you can see there's snow everywhere. Uh, a couple street lights out there, and it's not bad. Again, a little more grainy this time. Obviously, not doing nearly as good in the darkness as it did in the day. But I mean, you can see the other drone out there flying as well, and you can still see what, what's going on up there. You can see us standing. Um, you can see the parking lot. It's not a bad camera setup. It's really not that bad, and it's not that, like, grainy or choppy either when I'm spinning. I mean, we're flying around pretty fast, and it's it's going, it's hanging with us. You know, it's not, like, losing frame rate or, or lagging out or jumping around. It's solid. Not bad at all. All right, so the next time, the next um, the next uh, footage we're gonna go to is the Wi-Fi footage that was obtained from Sebastian's drone. He was using his phone the entire time, um, transmitting it to the app, and then we're gonna go and review that footage just to see the difference. So, so here we have the Wi-Fi footage. So as you can see, not as smooth. So. He's flying the drone, you know, pretty far away, but already you can see it's starting to chop. Um, it's speeding up and slowing down in areas. You can still see what's going on. It's not that bad. But when you're using Wi-Fi, it's not as crisp. I'm actually a little surprised. His seems to be doing a lot better than mine's did. I did I did do a Wi-Fi flight as well, and it was it was very terrible to say the least. I could not see anything. So it looks like in this wide open area, it's actually able to do pretty good. And 
and the quality remains the same. So only difference between SD card and Wi-Fi is with an SD card, you're not going to get any of the chopping or the blurring or the speeding up. Um, with the Wi-Fi, depending on where you're flying and how far away from you you're flying, you may get a little bit of that choppiness. But um, other than that, yeah, guys, that was the comparison of the two cameras on these uh, VA-1000s.